All right, everybody. Time for another unboxing. And I've been waiting for a bit for this one to come in. It's the 1400 scale round two Enterprise C transparent or translucent edition. And before you ask why they didn't do a clear edition, that was already done. The Yamaguchi kit from the 90s is the clear edition of the Enterprise C kit. <laughs> So, this is the next logical step in that. You know, since they had the uh, opaque C, and then they had the Yamaguchi, which is the clear version. And then we came out with this a few years ago. <clears throat> so you could light this, but it doesn't have the fragility of the clear kit. <clears throat> well, also a nice thing too is that. I mean, you can build this as the Yamaguchi as well, but since I already got two of these those kits, I don't need that. But this also had the parts I need to complete the other Yamaguchi, which is missing the little clear sensor dome and a couple of the lifeboats, which was my fault. I, Wrapped it in this the kit in the snow and stuff filled out. I got most of the well, 90% of the clear parts that were in the snow after the snow left. This kit is new and unopened box with the shrink wrap still on it. So. Go box art front back, and this does have the uh, battle damage decals. Now, here's the side panel with the uh, Guinan and uh, Tasha Yar on, the, on there, and the Enterprise C and Picard, Riker, and Yar on the battle bridge. <laughs> And then you get, you know, this panel here. And then you got the painting guide on this side. This side. This side. And this side. Yeah, I have a feeling that the uh, color they want you to go with is probably a little something like toasty gray. <clears throat> That's the color I'm going to go with on my uh, Yamaguchi kits. Uh, you know, those two are going to be Yamaguchi and Excalibur. Well, this one's going to be, well, the Enterprise. But. You know, like the uh, translucent Enterprise D, you get saucer, and they did do away with a lot of the uh, sprue gate, which makes, which is why this is a smaller box. You get your hole pieces, nacelle pieces, your uh, 
pylons. Here's the uh, extra lifeboats and uh, transporter emitter things. And he also gets the uh, sensor dome for the Yamaguchi. Here's your clear dome with hollow rod. Then we got the uh, then you got your uh, deflector dishes. Uh, one's for the Yamaguchi, the other's for the uh, Enterprise. You got your clear sensor domes. One for each. And I needed one of those uh, anyways. <laughs> Assembly instructions. Alright. Alright, let's go here. If you want to go and uh, look through that, pause at each uh, page, I could get them up closer. I see that one. Hold on. Let me get it a little easier. Then you got your decal sheet. And if you wanted to do a do this without the uh, kit decals, you could go and uh, go to GCAL decals website and order the decal set for the Enterprise C. <laughs> They'll be just like this, but for the Enterprise C, along with the uh, lifeboat decals. That way you don't have to paint the uh, lifeboats. And they'll actually look like lifeboats instead of gray blobs. And with this kit, you, you could have the choice of, uh, well, you're definitely going to be painting doing a bit of painting for uh, getting the uh, designs. And I would recommend against doing this free-handed. Just get yourself a good set of uh, Aztec dummy masks and have at it. So this will be a good kit when done, especially if you decide to light it. All you have to do with that is, well, pretty much. 
you know, once you're done painting uh, the exterior, scrape away the paint on the outside to expose the windows. As long as you uh, light block the inside and put your, uh, like, a reflective white coat on after you mask the window openings from the inside so that the light can shine through. And with that, uh, you can either drill a hole and stick a light, LED light down in there to shine onto the sensor dome. Or you can mask that light block around it, put your, you know, then take the mask off. And the light should shine through the translucent material right onto the clear plastic. That should probably be about it for the uh, unboxing video. If you like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't be shy to leave a comment. That'll help with the algorithms. And uh, at some point I might get started on the Yamaguchi. Only one of them is going to be lit. The other one's going to be uh, done unlit. Well, see you guys around next time. Bye, guys.